Hello, Dr. David McFadden here again from the Dental Implant Center in Dallas, Texas. Today's topic is how do you find the best dentist in town? It is a, a daunting task. So I will tell you that I have friends and family members from out of state who contact me and ask me how they find the best dentist in, in the city that they live in. So I've come up with a method that I think uh, will work for you. It's, it's a little bit of homework and it's going to take some time. But in researching the best dentist in town for friends and relatives out of town, I've come up uh, with this method. I contact endodontic and periodontic offices. So let's talk about what those are first. An endodontist specializes in root canals. A periodontist specializes in the gums and bone around the roots of the teeth. So those two specialties see a lot of dentistry. They see the good, the bad, and the ugly. So they have a pretty good feel for what doctors in town that nobody should go to and what doctors in town that they would go to themselves. And the same is true for dental laboratories. It's a little bit more of a wild card with the laboratories because if you contact these offices or a dental lab, many times they're going to want to refer you to their buddies or their biggest accounts or their biggest referrals. So I think you have to preface your conversation with those offices or with the dental lab. And let me stop for a minute and say one thing. You cannot talk to the receptionist who answers the phone. They will simply give you the name and phone number of their biggest referral or their biggest account. So you can't rely on the receptionist to give you this information. You have to, as pleasantly and as kindly as possible, try to beg your way into a phone call with the endodontist, the periodontist, or the owner of the lab. So let's say you're lucky enough to get the endodontist, the periodontist, or the owner of the lab on the phone. Ask them who they would see if they needed 10 dental crowns. That's going to be very telling right there because doing 10 crowns in the same mouth is very difficult uh, to get just right. It's a very difficult endeavor. So if they're going to be honest with you, you should hear the, the same name or two a few times as you do your research. So if you're willing to put the time and the energy into researching this, this uh, kind of delicate topic, uh, those are the ways that I would start. Thank you for listening and I hope this helps.